Someone wanted to know if I was against interracial relationships and interracial marriages. And for the gazillion time, and I know there's no such number, but for the gazillion time, I am not against interracial relationships and I am not against interracial marriages. I believe that there are beautiful women in every race and in every culture. When it comes to interracial relationships, in this day and time, I believe that relationships should be built on not color, but out of love. And I know that love really don't exist in today's time when it comes to relationships because people marry and get into relationships for the wrong reason. It's either for money, it's for sex, it's for convenience of themselves, and many times it's extremely selfish because you're not thinking of the other person, you're only thinking about you. And that's why I believe that many marriages don't work today. They don't last because people marry for the wrong reason. So when they fall into hard times or they have a disagreement, they are quick to flee. They are quick to throw years away, time spent into building they're ready to leave. Would I date interracially? If I met a young lady that I cared about, she cared about me, and if we meshed, if things worked out, I would have no problem dating outside of my race. To date, I have never dated outside of my race. It just never happened. Were there women outside of my race that were interested in me? Yes, of course, even to this very day. But the interest was not mutual. You understand? So, um, Again, I think relationships and marriages should be built on love, commitment, trust. Color should not even be in the equation. I know of situations where there's a black man and an Italian woman. And the old school Italians, maybe... You get that today, too. But the old school Italians, they were strongly against interracial relationships, especially when it comes to dating so-called black men. And I hate using the term black because those that they call black are not black at all. Their complexion is brown, different shades of brown. And I've really never seen too many black people. I've seen a few that is from the continent. Their skin is extremely dark to the point where there's like a slight shade of tint of blue. That's how dark they were. And in time past, we referred to that as blue black. The kind of black that you would say black. So, um, But I really have not seen that among the so-called foundational black Americans. But there were a time when Italians would even turn their backs on their own daughters if they dated outside of their race, primarily to a so-called brown man or black man. And the woman got pregnant and they rejected Their grandchild, they rejected this woman, they kicked her out of the house, didn't want anything to do with her. 
just because she dated outside of her race. And you have a lot of whites and even other cultures that feel the same way. You have black cultures or black people that feel that strong against interracial dating. But I think in this day and time, because of the mindset, the mentality of so many people are warped. It's really hard nowadays, man, especially in the so-called black community. And this is not intended for disrespect to black women, but in this day and time, the most masculine females that exist today would be in the black community. Black women or the bulk of black women in today's time are the most masculine among all races of women. That's not to say that other races of women aren't masculine. Of course it is. Just like in today's time, the black womb is not the safest place for an unborn black child because of abortion and the mindset of abortion. Forget um, birth control, you know, uh, whether you use birth control pills. And I think the reason why we find that so many women are having uh, mental health issues today, emotional issues today, is because of birth control pills. In my own personal opinion, I think birth control pill has a lot to do with um, the mental illness um, the bipolarism or schizophrenia of, of a lot of black women today, um, a lot of races of women, I think a lot of it comes from the use of birth control pill. But they started using abortion as a form of birth control. Forget about condoms, forget about the women condom, forget about birth control, forget about the shot, uh, the shots, you know, um, if they get pregnant, and I know, and I shared this story before of this one so-called black female that had about like seven or eight abortions. And she was in the church and she'd be in church and up uh, running devotion service and singing praises to whatever God she was serving. OK, because it couldn't have been the creator, especially with that many birth control or that many abortions. So she was up every day, every Sunday in devotion service, but she had about seven or eight abortions. And then when she decided to have children, she couldn't. Her body stopped producing. Her body just gave up, you know. So um, black women use uh, abortion as a form of birth control. So and then the mindset you got to deal with, too, is you have a lot of a lot of women, a lot of females and I'm talking about the so-called black community where a lot of females consider themselves bisexual. They've been in relationships with um, other women. Um, they had multiple baby daddies. And, you know, it's rare nowadays to find a woman in the black community that does not have children. You'd be surprised if she have one child. Or she have multiple kids by the same guy, you know, and then plus you have to deal with social media and they put their bodies online and um, displaying their half naked body um, on, on Instagram, just showing off their naked body. Who would want a woman like that? Who would want a woman like that? You know, so uh, so. A lot of so-called black men are put in the position where they start seeking outside of their race. You know, just because of the lack of moral values that so many so-called black women lack. They lack moral values. You know, you deal, you may end up with a lesbian, you know, and then if she one day decided to cheat on you, 
Um, it's bad enough she's cheating with a man, but then, she, you know, you find out she's cheating with a woman, her homegirl, who she's been hanging out, and you being naive, and she's hanging out with the girls, and you you don't think twice about that. But nowadays, you have to, and then you have these over aggressive, violent females out there where guys are being abused by these women. It's not that the guys can't handle them. If they try to restrain these girls, now they're going to jail. They're uh, being um, faulted for a domestic dispute. You know, he put his hands on me and, and there's females that will scratch themselves up and scream and uh, cry rape and then these guys end up in jail and their whole lives are destroyed. I'm dealing with the so-called black community. So there are so many men now that question, is it even worth it? And they shy away from a lot of these so-called black females. And a lot of these guys that are brought up on sexual harassment charges it comes from black females. You know, it's like you can't compliment them nowadays. You can't flirt with them nowadays because like when I was coming up, you know, a woman was a woman. A man was a man. You know, of course, you had your no good people out there on both sides. But for the most part, a man could look at a woman as a woman and a woman look at a man as a man. And you don't have to worry about, um, you know, not knowing what you're actually getting. You know, once you turn them lights out, you don't know what you have. And then when the lights come on, you're like, oh, my God, you know, you know, and we're living in times now where you got these dudes, man, that's that's posing as women and dudes are now ended up with these dudes that they thought was a woman. And then they find out it's not a woman, that it's a, it's a dude. And that's a whole nother situation. So now you got guys, man, that, that, that turn to other means of, of uh, you know, satisfying themselves, man, you know, because they, they are scared of a lot of these um, females because they you really don't know what you're getting. So in a way, a lot of these migrants that's coming to the country, <laughs> they're not only, not only good for the economy, but they're good for a lot of these relationships where men really can't find women uh, among their own race, among their own group of people. And like I said, relationships and marriages should not be built on color. You know, if I happen to meet a woman that I find attractive and, you know, and, and we and, and our energy kind of, you know, meshes or whatever they call it, let it flow. I think relationships, you should let it flow. If if it take finance, take sex out of it, you know, which those are those things are those things matter in a relationship. But um, does it really matter? Because at the end of the day, a woman could have a guy that you could be with a woman and the sex is great. It's the best. The guy can have a good job, uh, financially secure, and you're still not happy. You know, so you got people now that's not in relationships because. The guy makes them happy or the woman makes them happy. You know, they have other other motives for being in that relationship. So when it comes to interracial relationships, I have no problem with that. You know, I think it should, you know, if you meet someone of a different race and you guys click, I mean, let it flow. Let it work for you. I have no issues with that. I just have a problem with people that date outside their race and then turn their nose up at their own race. You know, now you want to reach back and take on the same spirit, especially in the so-called black community. You take on that same spirit of white supremacy and every white person is not a racist, just like every black person is not a criminal. Every black woman is not masculine. Every black woman don't wear weaves and wigs. Right? You have, there's a lot of black women that love to rock their own natural hair. And they are feminine. But even among that small group, you still have to deal with a feministic mindset or mentality that does not really work 
in a heterosexual relationship. Because you in a relationship with a feminist and she's thinking feminine, feminist movement. And so now you have to submit to her feminist idea in order to remain with her. If not, there's a lot of conflict in the mix. So I think we're dealing with a whole lot of other entities that have found their way, have snuck their ways into relationships. And that's why we find now there's like a battle between the sexes. There's a battle between the races. Well, when it comes to interracial relationships, I think that battle is, is just about, you know, one, because you we find that there are so many interracial kids out there. You know, and then once you have an interracial child, you know, instead of parents bringing them up on both sides, now you have interracial kids that's claiming to be white, you know, and then forgetting about their other side of the family, or you have interracial kids that's, that's claiming to be black and forgetting about their white side or their Arab side or their Indian side or um, Middle Eastern side or what have you. They don't claim both sides of their families because they may not be content with a certain racial group, although they were birthed or born out of that racial group. They don't claim it because they are ashamed of it. And I don't think anyone should date interracial because they are ashamed of their own race or they turn their back on their own race. But those are just my thoughts. You know, those are my thoughts. And like I said, I've never dated outside of my race. I've seen some very, very, very beautiful, very, very intelligent uh, women um, of other cultures, of other races. And we can actually sit down and hold a normal conversation. And that's that right there is the key, man. You have to be able to converse with that person, man. You have to be able to, you have to have something in common, you know, hobby or something, you know. But one of the main things is being able to sit down and talk to this person, express your thoughts and ideas, your feelings to this person. And then it's not weaponized against you, you know. And in the so-called black community, that's what happens. Some of the most, some of the normal, most normal conversations I had when it come to women were with women of other races, either either from the Middle East or um, women from India, um, and even Italian women, and in the white culture. I mean, I had some very, very, very nice conversations with them. You know, no drama, you know, and they don't take offense too easy. You know, they don't, you know, if they judge you, is you know, they judge you in their own mind, you know, but... Um, but with a lot of black females, they judge you just for being, for speaking what they view as proper. You know, um, I remember one time I was, I was, went to, I met this young lady, man. I went to take her out. And this female, she had a problem with me because she felt I was nice. Just goes to show the kind of men that she's been with, she's used to being with. She told me I was too nice and what was I up to? And, you know, why do I pick her? Why do I choose to be with her? And why me? And you're too nice. And um, I don't trust you. So she could not trust me because of the fact that I treated her like she should be treated. And because of the fact that I treated her like she should be treated and she didn't trust me because she felt I was being too nice or overly nice, she didn't want to deal with me. But she settled for a guy that was locked up behind bars and, you know, these guys that get her pregnant and leave her with, you know, with the children. Now she's a single parent with multiple kids by different baby daddies because she trusted them more than she trusts the guy that was financially secure, that was doing for himself, that was intelligent, you know, and that treated her like a woman should be treated. So I think there's a lot of things when it comes to relationship, race shouldn't even be in the equation. That shouldn't even be an issue. If you happen to meet someone, and this is not just, you know, so-called black men dating outside their race. This also includes women or any other race of women. 
You know, if you find somebody that, that you're attracted to and you like, don't be afraid to to let them know. You know, sometimes you can miss out just by not letting them know. They not they may not even be aware. And especially in this day and time, listen, ladies, you may have interest in a guy. He may have the same type of interest in you, but he's not really going to approach you because of how this society is set up. You know, so it's not that he fear rejection. He's he fears in a sense, and I'm not even going to call it being fearful. I think it's just being being careful because there's guys that that open themselves up and to be, you know, to have their whole ego crushed. You know, it's like they approach this woman and then the woman, he finds out this woman you know, don't date men, <laughs> you know, or she just got out of a bad relationship. And then automatically he says, how you doing today? And I'm not in the race. I'm not looking in the race. Blah, 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 blah. And she just come off and he's looking like, I just said hi. You know, I shared a story about this one guy. I'm going to the post office and this guy in front of me, there was a young lady uh, in front of us and he opened the door for her and he held the door and this woman went off on him. This black female went off on that guy. I could open my own door and blah, 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 blah. And he's looking like, what did I do? He's looking shocked because he didn't expect this female to go off on him like that. He says, I'm sorry. I just held the door. I can hold my own door. Blah, 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 blah. And she like just went on in and didn't say thank you. And the dude is sitting there looking confused. His feelings were hurt, <laughs> you know? So you have guys now that, that that's very slow about, you know, approach, approaching women today because we're dealing with a whole different type of species of women. Right. So guys have to be careful nowadays. It's not that they not they are less than a man. Um, it's not that they are beta males, you know, and it's, it has nothing to do with any of that, you know. So in today's time, a lot of guys wait for the woman to make the move on them, to say something to them, you know, and then they will start pursuing. But you don't find too many men of any race that are quick to pursue women nowadays, man, because they have to end up picking up their pick, uh, picking their heart up off the floor, you know, picking their face up off the floor, man. So they just don't say nothing. Right. So anyway. But when it comes to interracial relationships, I have no problem with interracial relationships. Would I date interracially? You know, if I happen to meet someone one day and, you know, it happens, it happens. You know, you you can't you can't. Uh, it's not wise to hinder love, you know, um, just because of color or just because of uh, money or or anything of that nature. Um, you should just follow your heart. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>